Greetings and thank you for joining us today in our daily devotion. This week we've been talking about the ABCs of faith. And we want to bring our attention to the fact that the Lord Jesus was the greatest teacher concerning faith. He taught so much about faith. Many expected people to come to him in faith. He recognized and he applauded people. He told some people, you know, great is your faith. Sometimes he rebuked people. He rebuked his own disciples. He says, where is your faith? Oh, you of little faith. Why did you doubt? So, you know, he dealt with this whole aspect of faith a lot in his ministry, in his teaching. And one day, he decided to teach his disciples very specifically on the subject of faith. And so he sets this whole example up for them as walking down the road from Jericho, there's a fig tree. It didn't have any fruit and he curses the fig tree. And, and you know, the next day they pass by and the fig tree is withered and, and Peter and the disciples are so amazed. They said, Lord, you just cursed the fig tree, it's gone. And then Jesus gives them an, a, the teaching that he wanted to give them. He says in Mark 11, verse 22 and 23, he said, have faith in God. Then he went on to say, whoever says to this mountain, be removed, be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things that he says will come to pass, he will have whatever he says. He says, so in a nutshell, Jesus is saying, okay, here's what I want you to learn. You saw how the fig tree withered away? That's something you too can do. It's something for you. It's something you can operate in. It's something you can exercise and walk in. Now here's how you do it. First, have faith in God. And then, speak to the mountain. Speak to the thing. Jesus spoke to the fig tree. He said, you can speak to a mountain. He spoke to the winds and the waves. He spoke to different things. He spoke to sickness. He spoke to disease. So he says, speak to the mountain. And he says, don't doubt in your heart, but be fully convinced because God has promised something. Be convinced about it, that what you're speaking, what you're saying will come to pass. He said, you will have what you say. Imagine, he said, you can have what you say. That's Jesus teaching us how to exercise faith in God. So you have faith in God, yes, but you gotta do something more, next step. Out of your faith in God, out of your confidence in God, you speak to them. You issue a word of command. Tell the mountain to move. So how long should I keep speaking to it? Well, until it moves. So you be stubborn. Say, so I'm going to be here. And if anything is going to move, that mountain is going to move, not me. I'm standing here because Jesus has given me this instruction. Have faith in God. You tell the mountain to move, it'll move and nothing will be impossible to you. You will have what you say. That's how we're supposed to exercise our faith. And I want to encourage you to do that. Build your faith up by hearing God's word. Have faith in God and then speak to your mountain. Let's pray. Oh Lord, we thank you for the instructions you've given us in your word, what you've taught us concerning faith. Help us to live by it, to conquer our mountains through faith to take our Jerichos, to subdue it by Sharish through faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.